A professional highlight video is very important to the recruiting process. That's why we include unlimited highlight videos with every profile and they're done in minutes. So to build your highlight video, what you're gonna do is just go across these tabs here at the top. The first tab is slides. So if you have some custom text as far as academic and athletic rewards you've received, you can put that in there. If you wanna show your email and phone number directly on your slide, you have that option as well. A lot of the information pulls from your profile for consistency. So for example, if we see that we don't have a graduation year set, we can come up here, click on recruit info. At the very top, we can set that and hit save. Now, if we navigate back to the highlight video builder, we can come down and update our slide. And now we'll see that that grad year is there. So again, if you need to change anything on your slides, you'll either update it on this page or from your recruit info or profile info tabs so it's consistent across both your highlight video and your profile. Uh, here you'll be able to see your info bar at the bottom and set up an image uh, to be edited uh, during the intro. The next tab is media. So you can use any film that you have from any source. You can go ahead and drag and drop those files here at the bottom. For example, that could be a high school game, uh, likely not shared by a partner club or purchased from a club event or it could be some skills training, for example, maybe that you did in the backyard. Uh, if you have any film, go ahead and just drag and drop. It can be the entire game. Uh, that will upload to your profile, and then you'll be able to enter the start and the end time uh, on the next page. Now, key thing to keep in mind, just make sure you let it go all the way so that it loads fully, and you'll see uh, the green here. Um, so you can use film that you upload in media as well as any film in your video library. That's where your club could share a film with you or a film you purchase uh, from an event distributor on our platform. You may see a couple little color bands here at the bottom. Players can come in here, tag themselves and their teammates. So you can see that here at the bottom. If you have a play that you like, and maybe you want to come down here and look for number six. See we have an assist and a goal found for this player. You can then click to those plays, okay? And then move those to your highlight video, okay? So that will move it to the clip section of your highlight video. You could also see any plays that you've tagged here at the bottom and click on this little icon in blue to move that to your highlight video. So again, two sources to get film into your highlight video from the video library. Uh, you can either tag the clip there or you can uh, enter the start and end time on clips tab or you can drag and drop a file here um, from any source and you can put that at the bottom of the media tab. Once you have all your media organized, you're gonna get the start and the end time. So, Again, if it's from a file that you've already tagged, it'll enter that information automatically. Uh, if it's from a file that you upload yourself, such as this high school game, and you'll just select the drop down to collect the file, then go ahead and just put the start and the end time here. Now, if it's a really short clip, like a training video, maybe something you shot in the backyard, that's fine. Uh, you'll also see the option to click all. That means include the entire clip, not just uh, a subsection for us to cut up. Again, if you want to shuffle the order, you can do that with this up and down arrow here. It's always important to move your best plays uh, to the front. Uh, don't assume the college coach is always going to watch the entirety of its video. Also try to have diversity of your plays, so don't throw the same play over and over and over. Uh, if you want to add additional clips, you can do that at the bottom. Okay. Next, what we're going to go do is go to ISO. And the big thing that you'll see here is we'll actually cut those clips up in the system so you can preview them for accuracy. And then you'll also be able to add the isolation effect, um, which is gonna be adding a bullseye to yourself. So first, we'll see the first play here, it's five seconds. If I click here, I can preview that. Okay, looks good to me. And then what I'll do is I'll come over to the right and figure out which frame, first frame, second frame, that you're most visible in. So maybe you wanna put a little bullseye on yourself here or you want to do it on the second play that's up to you but clicking on yourself and you can scroll left to right within this area is where you'll be able to add that isolation effect on the next tab now if you have some film for example this is a good example of a film that's a little bit zoomed out and the action's kind of behind so what you can do is add a zoom effect kind of like a phone you know just select a section here so we'll add a zoom effect here on the right hand side so this area that has that white transparency, that's gonna get removed and it's gonna make it easier for coaches to scout you um, because it's going to enlarge this area that doesn't have the uh, white over it. Now, if I come down here, uh, again, just continue to go through and click on yourself on every frame so that you have that zoom effect. And then you may also have, for example, some skills training um, and you don't need to have an isolation effect. 
so you can skip that uh, as well. On the next tab, just hit save and continue at the very bottom. You'll come over here, now I'm just gonna not save just for the sake of going through this a little faster. Normally what you'll see is that these clips are loading. It'll take you know a minute or two to process and then you'll be able to preview them. So what was previously a five second clip is now six seconds because what it's gonna do is pause for a second as it adds that isolation effect to your play. So you're gonna be able to go through. Here's the play that we talked about earlier. Okay, now it's a little bit more zoomed in, making it easier for the coach to scout you. And then you'll just peruse down, make sure all these plays look good to your liking. And then check out those info slides, make sure they're accurate. If you want to uh, double check that your music selection, and you can always put in your social. Uh, you'll see that we'll promote a lot of these and create kind of custom uh, social square where we'll tag the player and the team. And then just decide which uh, email, whether it's the player or one of the parents associated with your profile, that you want to be notified at. It takes about two to three minutes, uh, depending on the number of plays, to build your highlight videos. Once you submit that, it's just going to take you to the highlight video builder uh, where you can, I'm sorry, the college search so you can find schools to message. If I go here to archive, keep in mind you can have multiple versions. You could have like a short version, a long version, and if you want to reopen an existing highlight video, the great thing about having it unlimited is that you can you know, build one with just two or three plays and then maybe you know, 60 days later you get two more plays so you add those on the front, take one off the back so you can make as many iterations as you wish. And you can always go to our curated recommendations where we'll look at these 10 data points and try to figure out schools that fit you both on and off the field. Uh, and then you can see which schools make sense and those are the schools that you can message here um, with your highlight video.